Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. My apologies for the insane lighting situation here today. I'm sure you can tell by the shadows behind me here in the room. It is really sunny out. Like there is not a cloud in the sky. Uh, it is nothing but sunshine, but there's still some snow on the ground. So it's like extra bright. Um, I kind of feel like I'm being blinded right now, but this is the one chance today that I have to record, so um, I'm going for it. <laughs> All right, welcome to my weekly home fragrance roundup. Um, this is the video that I do, will try to do every Saturday, where I share with you guys what I um, used in terms of home fragrance around the house. I am just as passionate about smelly home fragrance things as I am about makeup, so um, that's why I do these videos on a beauty channel. But um, anyway, uh, as you may know, if you watched my Home Fragrance Empties for February on Wednesday, if you missed that video, I'll link it down below. I'm doing a little bit of a test where I'm seeing if not using my Scentsy warmers makes a difference in my electricity bill. A lot of you said that it's probably not the warmers. Um, I don't really think it is either but I'm doing the test anyway where I'm not using my Scentsy warmers for a couple of weeks and I'm gonna see if that puts a dent into uh, my electric bill <laughs> for next month um, so yeah I don't have any Scentsy to share with you guys today which is crazy because you know that um, normally I have a ton of stuff that I'm warming throughout the week um, I normally leave my warmers on 24 hours a day, so um, yeah, it's I have missed having them on for sure. Honestly, like this whole week, like I've been walking around and every time I see one of my warmers, I just have this urge to like go turn it on, but I'm like, no, 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 let's do the test. So today I have candles to share with you guys and I'm going to take you through, there are some things in here that um, uh, are available and there's a few things that are not because they're just discontinued. So I'm gonna start with Bath and Body Works candles. So um, this, this is uh, Pink Sands and Petals from Bath and Body Works. This was obviously this gorgeous ribbed glass packaging that they had, um, was it two years ago now? I think it could have been two years ago. Um, the notes on this are jasmine petals, orange blossom, soft white musk, and banana flower. Honestly, the very first time that I picked this candle up was only because I loved the jar. It's this beautiful iridescent pink. Um, but when I smelled it, I was like, I'm not normally a floral person, but this is really nice. So I bought one, took it home, burned it, and loved it. I love it this scent when it is burning and you guys know that usually i lean more gourmand fruity um basically food type scents that's what i like this is not that at all this is very floral um it's beautiful and i just love it anyway i have two of these in my downstairs dining room and when i light both of them i have them on the white marble pedestals from bath and body works and they just look absolutely beautiful. And when I light both, they scent the entire downstairs of my house. This formulation um, and this, um, I'm sure the container has something to do with it. And these, these wicks are perfect. Um, it's the same kind of configuration with the original berry waffle cone. And that one just burns flawlessly for me. This one burns flawlessly as well. I don't know if this was a repackage of something else. If anyone knows if this is currently out, um, I would actually pick up a couple more of this particular scent. Um, I certainly have not seen it with the name Pink Sands and Petals, but um, you know how they repackage things all the time and name it different things. So if you know if there's a repackage of this, either now or coming up, please let me know. The other Bath & Body Works candle is just a mason jar of my beloved raspberry peach macaron. It's delightful. Some people think this smells like sour yogurt. Um, I don't. <laughs> I just think it's amazing. So uh, the notes that they give you here are ripe raspberry, juicy peach, and almond cream. You can definitely smell that almond in there, 
which is reminiscent of the cookie part of the um, macaron. Uh, and the filling is that raspberry, creamy, peachy, yummy scent. Um, so yeah, anyway, love this. Have lots of backups. Um, I was burning the three wick of pineapple mousse quite a bit this past week. Um, I haven't trimmed the wicks on this. This is obviously a three wick here. This has not been repackaged yet, but I have several backups of this because I love the berry trifle that comes with this set as well, or came with this set. It's all sold out now. Um, this burns beautifully. Um, the wicks uh, are perfect on this particular three wick configuration here. I, I do trim them. With the new candles, the four wicks, I am not trimming the wicks and I'm finding that that's the best policy for those. Um, but with these three wicks, I usually just, um, I'll trim them. So this smells like pineapple Dole Whip. Um, that is what this smells like if you're curious. It is, it's really kind of fun. It's very summery. I'm actually surprised that I got one of these out. Normally, I really only like these very strong pineapple scents. And this is, I don't want to say this is a strong candle. The throw on this and the strength on this are very, like, medium. Like, right around a six. Um, but, uh, you know, like, pineapple scents to me are oftentimes um, stronger. And they just are very, like, they're just a summer scent. But I just, for some reason, was craving this. And I love it. It is delicious. I'm glad I have backups of that. All right, I've been burning my... Veluspa Santiago Huckleberry. Um, this is tunneling, which drives me nuts when candles do this. Um, I certainly have been burning it for hours and hours and hours at a time. Um, usually I have this lit at least for a minimum of six hours. I'll light it in the morning, blow it out in the afternoon. And um, yeah, it's still tunneling. I also have this in my downstairs family room. It gets completely lost in there. Basically, I'm using this for ambiance, which kind of sucks because it is such a delicious scent, but the the oils in this are just not strong enough to actually throw. So this packaging won't be a repurchase for me, um, but the scent will be at some point. I want to try it in their like tin three wick configuration. Um, because I do really like the scent. So uh, their notes are ripe, ripe huckleberry, vanilla, crushed sugar cane. It's a very sweet scent. There's also a slight bitterness about this, but not in a bad way. Usually bitter is bad, but there is like a bittery, almost green type of note to this, but um, I don't know, I still like it. Um, this is one of my favorite favorite candles from um, Root. You guys know I like Root candle. I can buy my Root candles at the flower market at wholesale, so I don't order from the website all that often, but um, I don't actually have Paradise available to me at the flower market. For some reason, that is the one scent out of the entire Root candle lineup that they don't carry. Um, Paradise is a really nice... Um, coconut colada but not usually when I smell colada like pina colada type scents like the main note that I get is the pineapple and I don't actually ironically enough despite loving this I don't really love pineapple scents normally um there is a slight hint of that like pineapple in here but it's more of that like colada cream type note so more coconut sweet creaminess it just smells like a summer tropical drink. That's what this smells like. And um, it's absolutely delicious and it burns really well. Beeswax, this root candle uses beeswax. Um, and um, it does leave a residue on the side of the jar, so you are seeing that. But um, I'm okay with the residue when it comes to this formulation, just because I know it's just part of burning beeswax. But this one scents up my entire open concept uh, family room, kitchen nook area, and kitchen. Um, it doesn't travel throughout the entire downstairs, but it does scent that particular area very nicely. There's some good airflow right there. Um, yeah, this is lovely. I really like this a lot. I do believe you can get this on the Root Candle website, so if you want it, Paradise should be available, or it should be becoming available for the summertime if it's not on there right now. 
Um, this is the Candlelight Company Jasmine Santal. I was burning this in my room and I did notice that it started to get a little bit of soot on the side here. So this might be going in my candle crock sometime very soon. Um, I love this scent. I buy these at Fred Meyer. Um, if you don't have Fred Meyer, Kroger is the same thing in the Midwest. Um, but this scent is delightful. Ylang petals, vanilla, jasmine, and spun sugar. This is a floral, but it's also very sweet and it does have that really creamy vanilla base. It's just a really lovely scent, you guys. I would definitely recommend checking this one out if you are interested in it. Um, it's really lovely and uh, it's, how much are these normally? Like $12.99? $15.99? Probably somewhere in the like $13 to $16 price range. I can't remember, honestly. I was just at Fred Meyer last night and I was looking at them and I can't remember. I don't, I didn't remember the price. But anyway, so there's that. And then also in my candle crocs downstairs, I have, um, let me grab it. Uh, it, it is a berry waffle cone, um, but not in this, in the new, the newest one that they released last year that had, um, the regular glass jars like the clear ones and um, that formulation just doesn't burn well for me so I just put the full ones into my candle crocs and then it melts the wax completely and then I can usually leave that on for a week and all the fragrance oil dissipates and then when it's done I just take it out um, this one as you can see burned incredibly well um, so yeah, th just this this jar just did so well, um, and the wicks are they're just perfection. I don't know. I don't know why they would stray away from this. If every candle from Bath and Body Works burned the way that this and that does, I could see where the ten dollar off candle sale with a coupon would make them worthwhile. But the way that they burn now, with being $10 off plus a coupon, you just it's just too much money to spend on a candle that you can only burn to the halfway point and then it like duds out on you. So um, anyway, I don't, I don't know what's going on with Bath & Body Works. I'm hoping that their sales are really being affected. I know a lot of people are boycotting this like 10, $10 off thing that they're doing with the candles and I don't blame them. I myself, I've been in Bath and Body Works multiple times over the last couple of weeks, which is kind of weird because I haven't picked up any candles. I have bought a little bit of hand wash because we were running low. But um, yeah, like people were just not buying the candles and I was smelling them and it just, I don't know, I feel like the associates were kind of struggling a little bit because, you know, like they were trying to like get me to buy stuff and I was like, you know, I gotta be honest, like I just, I'm not into them anymore and they're like, yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Um, so I, they have to know <laughs> that what they're doing is not working for them or maybe they just don't care, I don't know. I would think that they would wanna make their candle people happy but maybe they just get a ton of sales from people who, you know, aren't really into candles that come in and maybe just pick up one or two. I mean, I have certainly seen people in the past when I've been making, you know, my large candle purchases, they come in and they buy one candle for like $24.50, like instead of doing like the two for, you know, whatever, like they just, they just want one and you know normally the associates are like well you basically get another one free and they're like no 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 I just need one and so they just pay full price for one candle which is insane but I I don't know maybe there's a bunch of people that shop that way and we just don't know about them I don't know I don't know what they think they're doing but anyway that's what I've been burning and melting this week um, I am going to, uh, get out of this room because my eyes honestly hurt, like, oh, my eyes are sore. Um, it's so bright. <laughs> Which reminds me, I also need to go find my sunglasses because I have to go run some errands and there's no way that I'm going to be able to, like, drive around with 
this blinding sun in my eyes. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Um, I do not have a candle review for you tomorrow, but I did order the Homeworks Rose Petal candle, so as soon as I start burning that, I will probably give you guys a review of that next week. It's not here yet. I think it's supposed to be here either today or possibly Monday, so I'll let you guys know next week. Anyway, thanks, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.